Oh my god, here we are, Knights of Apollo. We are here with Bannerlord. Honestly, I was like so worried that I was gonna die before I could play this game. I'm just so happy to be able to play campaign and I'm able to share my experience with you guys. Seriously, this is so cool. Like, just having a YouTube channel and being able to just share my first time ever being on Bannerlord and you guys get to experience it. I mean, it's it's awesome. So guys, let's sit back. Let's have some fun. Let's conquer some castles, build up an army. Ah, I'm stoked. I can't wait to get this started. Now, a couple announcements before we do get started. If you haven't bought the game yet, you can get it for 22% off on Games Planet. Use the URL link down in the video description and use the code LORD5. You'll get it for 22%, but I'm sure most of you guys already already has, you know, have the game. You should. I mean, it's it's 6 in the morning right now. I've gotten like 3 hours of sleep cuz I'm so excited and it's gonna be fun. Also, guys, I am gonna be streaming later today, so I hope to see you at the stream. Uh, I'm gonna stream at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Anyways, let's do this. So, we're gonna dive right into this campaign, and the faction that I'm gonna play as first is Empire. I love the Empire. They've got these really, it's like a, it's like a Byzantine Empire style, so... We're going to click on Empire. Uh, the Calradian Empire is in decline even before the murder of the Emperor. I'm going to mispronounce that. The once united realm was torn by political rivals. Okay, today the factions are in open war, yet Calradians endure. Uh, so they are, they have tech not, tech, tech, I can't, I can't, I'm so excited. I'm so sleep deprived. You're going to, you're going to hear me mispronounce a lot of words, but they've got good tech and they're in more advanced than their neighbors and the mastery of engineering. Oh, very cool. It's not uh, just evident in their aqueducts, beautiful architecture and massive city walls. They make their, their, they make, wait, it also makes them experts in siege warfare. That's what I'm talking, I love sieges. All right, 20% construction speed in towns, uh, all wall repairs and siege engines. Very cool. So they're, they're good with their sieges. Oh yeah, character creation. Okay, so we're going to just make a guy that looks kind of like me, I suppose. Um... I'm you're just to speed things up. I'm just gonna keep his face. I mean, that's fine for me. I'm gonna probably just cover it anyways. So, okay. Interesting hairdos. I like it. Little Bob Ross. <laughs> Little Bob. This is a happy army. <laughs> happy accident army. Um, I guess we'll go. That I guess that's good. My hair is really long right now, but we'll keep it at that. Let's see. Or or this. Eh, we'll go at we'll go at this. All right, and for a beard, we need a, a big beard. Not quite that long. It's getting there. We'll, we'll go with we'll go with that. All right, I like that little look he has on his eyes. He's like, yeah, you know what's up. We about to conquer Caloradia. Yeah, boy, let's do it. Um, okay, that's good enough for me. And you choose your family. Ah, look at my family. They look so interesting. All right, you were born in a family of... Hmm, Artisans, foresters, uh, a landlords. Uh, let's go with let's go with foresters. Okay, so with foresters, I have. Does it show you? Okay, it shows you the different traits here. Social. See, merchants make us better with social, which honestly, I kind of like that. Also, look at they change their like their clothes based on their professions. Uh, that's awesome. Freeholders. That makes us better with endurance, vigor. Uh, okay, so let's just go with Forester. Or, I'm sorry, we're going to go with Merchants because I want to be a smooth talker here a little bit. 10 skill level and 1 focus point to trade and charm. Perfect. As a child, oh my god, it's little me! Except I never had long hair as a little kid. But uh, as a child, you were noted for your leadership skills, your brawn, attempt to, uh, attention to detail. Let's see, attention to, <laughs> let's see, plus 10 skill, one focus point to athletics, one-handed. Mmm, one-handed, I like one-handed, get a big old, like, or big old sword. Oh, well, one-handed, never mind, that's, I'm thinking two-handed, I'm an idiot. P focus point to engineering and trade. I already have one in trade, but I could be really good in trade. Um, 
my intelligence for engineering would go up. So you know what? I know this is crazy, but I might go with the big brain kind of guy. Uh, even though I'm not a brain, <laughs> I'm not a big brain guy, but uh, my traits aren't exactly. I'm not trying to pair my traits with real life traits because it, yeah, none of this would be true. All right, growing up, you spent most of your time in the alley gangs. <laughs> that pose. Um, obviously, that's gonna make us one one attribute point to cunning focus. Okay, that's. I mean, that's pretty good. Let's see, is a tutor. Engineering and leadership, so another point to engineering attribute to intelligence. Like, I really like to be a really good, intelligent leader. Sure, my fighting's not going to be great, but I'm going to be able to really, like, you know, control my units really well. Caring for horses. Ooh, interesting. So, it will improve our riding and our steward. Uh, so, I'm going to go with a tutor. And then, ooh, I'm starting, I'm starting to get thick here a little bit. As a youngster growing up in Cal Radio, war was never too far away. Uh, you stood guard with the garrisons, rode with the scouts, trained with the infantry. You know, let's get a little bit of, yeah, let's train with the infantry. Get a little, because I, I love going infantry, so we're going to go ahead and improve our infantry skill. Uh, choose your adulthood, young adulthood. Before you set out for life and of, of adventure, your biggest achievement was you defeated an enemy in battle. You led a caravan. You invested some money in a workshop. You survived. A, I like the siege. I like surviving a siege. Oh, that improves our archery. I mean, archery is pretty important. I didn't really want to go with an even spread here of skill points. I kind of want to have a focus. Now, right now, my focus is... You know, being socially skilled and intelligent. Um, so let me see. Let a caravan. It improves our cunning and our social. We kind of like it. You defeat, defeated an enemy in battle. That helps our swordsmanship. So I might go with that. It improves our two-handed. Our It improves our one-handed too. Um, okay, so I want to be a good leader. And I also want some sword skills. So I want to defeat an enemy in battle. Uh, like many families in Calradia, your life was append up upended by war. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm so tired, but I'm so excited. Your home was ravaged by the passage of army after army. Eventually, you sold your property and set off with your father, mother, brother, and your two younger siblings. Uh, wow, big family. Uh, to a new town you've heard was safer, but you did not make it along the way. The inn at which you were staying was attacked by raiders. Your parents were slain and your two youngest siblings seized. But you and your brother survived because uh, you subdued a rider. You drove off. You drove them off with arrows. You rode off to the far on a fast horse. That, of course, endurance. Uh, you tricked the raiders. Cunning. Cunning's important. You organized travelers. Uh, you organize the travelers to break out. That helps with social a ton. I'm gonna again. I'm really focusing on the social, so I'm gonna do that. You prepared to set off with your brother on a mission of vengeance and rescue. Here is your character. Click finish if you are ready to go back. Okay. Um, we will just call him Apollo. We'll go with me. Oh, cap locks. Apollo. Um. Cool. I, I, I'm not going to go back. This is who we're going to be. We're very social. We have great social skills, intelligence. We're great at engineering. Our medicine and stewards not great, but our sword fighting is pretty awesome. So whew, I'm all, I'm ready for this. I am so ready. De determine your game difficulty. Um, enable death. Ooh. Auto uh, clan members perk. Oh, you know what? I kind of like the auto perk because it's like, you know, whatever you get is what you get. Um, we're going to play on, we can play, let's just do like, yeah, we'll just do realistic. That's kind of like middle ground, you know, I don't want it too hard. I don't want it too difficult. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Oh. Brother, our brother looks, he looks like an older brother, like way older brother. It's been three days now. We've been tracking those bastards. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue Fan Fad Fanos and Leah? A I don't know. Le Why did I say Alia? I don't know. Ready for a fight. Let's do it. Um, I'm going to run the course. I need to know I can fight if I have to. Continue tutorial. Yeah, we'll continue the tutorial. 
I mean, I know most of the combat, but I just wanted to experience everything. All right, movement. Yep, that's pretty straightforward. Yeah, that's the movement there. Okay, I think we got it. Do we need to, oh, there's horse riding, sword fighting. Let's go this way. It's like a nice little training camp over here. Hello, good sir. Let's see, can I pick this up? Oh, nice. Got my training equipment with the wooden sword. Oh. Gotcha. So defend from left. Okay. There you go. Defend from right. Defend up. Down. Pretty straightforward. Your basic, you know, uh, Bannerlord controls. Oh, that's from the right. All right, that's the sword tutorial. That's super easy. That's super easy. Okay, let's go ahead and move over to whatever training this is. Um, let's get the big two-handed sword. Let's do that. Let's see. What are we doing here? Fight will start in three seconds. Oh, we're just going at it? Man, this guy, I was kind of expecting, oh, there we go, an easier fight. He's putting up a good fight. You know, I'm so used to playing, oh my god. I'm so used to playing, like, multiplayer that I'm not used to fighting the AI. Come on, come on. Oh. I got you, I got you! You're not gonna beat me! Oh, dang it! <laughs> You've lost. You can restart the training, but you're... No, I'm good. But hey, you know, if the AI is gonna fight like that, that's gonna be intense, guys. That's gonna be intense. So we're gonna head back over this way. Um, I mean, we'll go to cap. We'll do a little of everything. I mean, honestly, what I need to work on the most is probably my cap play. So let's just... um. Let's grab a lance, get on the horse. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice. Oh, awesome. Oh no! <laughs> Boom! I hate these pots! So it's pretty straightforward. Nice. I love the town here. I, again, I love the um, the empire aesthetic of like the Byzantine Empire style. It is truly Byzantine Empire is just one of my favorite. Like, it's not really it's not really a kingdom, right? Because it's an empire, but it's one of my like favorite medieval civilizations to learn about and just you know. I just love the garb. I love the culture. Like, it's just a cool, cool part of history. So that's why I'm going Empire. All right. And we've got a couple more pots. I missed a couple of them, unfortunately. I think this is the last one. But, yeah, not bad. Not bad. Okay, so we got the horse experience. I got a minus two second penalty. Oh, because I missed a couple. So we'll get off the horse here. And we'll go ahead and try the final um, training section. And then we'll we'll get started with this story. Well, Because I don't want to bore you guys too much. Let's see. Let's go with the big old bow here. Look at this thing. All right. Go shoot. All right. Shooting is... I've Oh, I'm very confident with shooting. Yeah, I am a pro. Oh, look at the windmill. Look at that. That's cool. You got to kind of time it just right with the windmill over here. Boom. I mean, that's pretty good, right? I'm doing good. 
Okay, so that's a little, you know, insight to the training there. Let me go ahead and talk to this guy. My, or my brother, I should say. Are you ready to lead? Yes, I am ready. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. I guess, are we going to hunt down the bandits? I assume so. Oh, here it is, boys. Here it is. The campaign. Oh, my goodness. The campaign. Okay, I don't even know. Again, this is where it's all new to me. I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, so, we're going to leave the training field. Oh, here we go. Brother, before we do anything else... Or, brother. Before, before we do anything else, we're low on food. There's a village north of here. We can buy some provi provisions and find some help. You're a better rider than I am, so I'll let you lead the way. All right, so we've got to go to, yeah. All right, welcome to Calradia. You can explore the world pressing WASD and right-click dragging the mouse, zooming in, uh, in and out with the mouse wheel. Give it a try. Very cool, okay. Moving your party is done by clicking on the map. Okay, yep. Yeah. Nope, we're gonna leave that and we're gonna click on the map. Ooh, a little laggy there, a little laggy. Moving the party is done by clicking the map. All right, let's go to the location. Guys, our first town, our first town. Let's take a walk around. Let's take a walk around. We're here, I guess, so we need food and after that, maybe some men to come, to come with us. Heck yes, let's do it. Speak to the headman. Nice. All right. You can hold left alt key to see location. Can I? Oh. Yes, you can. He's over here. Look at this town, though. This is so awesome. Oh, there's a pig. Is that a black pig? Guys, fun fun fact here. I have a black pig. I, I have a black pot belly. Vietnamese pot belly pig. Her name is Josephine. Anyways, little side note. Let's go talk to this guy. Hey, we need food and we need men now. <laughs> hey, sir. I am Danos, headman of the village. What brings you here? We need food and, and soldiers. They got your people too? Sorry to hear that. Those bastards have done a bit of killing and looting in these parts as well. Oh, do you want us to do something about it? We think uh, they're gone north. I reckon there's a few folk around there uh, who'll join you in going after them if you pay for their gear. Okay, I, I can do that. Once you've made the prepar uh, preparations, you can come talk to me again. Uh, I, may, I may have a task for you if you're going after the raiders. Okay, to leave mission, you can hold down the tab key. Right, I don't want to leave the mission. This is returning you to the settlement menu. Oh, okay, where you can purchase supplies and hire recruits. Okay, so yeah, let's let's leave the city and then we'll go to recruit troops. Whoa, is this all cav? They've got a little horse symbol, so Okay, well we can't recruit all of them, I assume. Or can we? No, we can. Yeah, we'll recruit all of them. It's three hundred gold. We've got a thousand gold. Uh, right now, currently we can have twenty one people in our army. Can we recruit him too? No. Ooh. There we go. And then let's buy some products. And we're going to buy some grain. We'll buy all the grain. Uh, we're not going to buy any sheep. Let's see. Do you actually buy the animal or just the food? Wool. Let's see. What is wool for? I guess we'll just buy the grain for now. I think that's enough. I guess we, we could also buy. We'll buy a couple sheep too just to be safe. I'll pay 192. Brother, we have finished our preparations. Let's talk to the headman again. All right. Um, talk to the headman. Show the menu on the top right. Shows the important people in your current location. This is new. Talk to the headman's portrait and talk to him. Okay. Oh, I'm having so much fun already, man. I, I'm just so happy. Like, I got goosebumps. I'm having so much fun. I'm so pumped for this game. Talk to the headman. Let's talk. That's cool. It, like, instantly takes you. Okay, glad that you found what you needed. Now, about that matter I've mentioned earlier, there, there's the wandering doctor who comes through here from time to time. Name of Tactius. Treats people for free. We were fond of him. Well, at last, well, we last saw him a few days ago. He was carrying some sort of chest, which he was very mysterious about. He was on some sort of quest, he said, though uh, wouldn't tell us more. 
He had he set off the road just a few hours before the Raiders uh, came through here. Well, he's not really a Wardley type, just the kind of fellow who stumbled into a trap, let himself be captured. We're worried about him. Buddy, I will save him. If you can go keep an eye out for him, uh, this Tactios, uh, you'd be, uh, we'd be very grateful. Maybe if he's alive, you can tell him a little more about his quest. <laughs> Fun. There's a quest within a quest. Ooh, look at the ladies. The ladies of the Empire. Hello. Hey. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> All right, let's leave mission. And let's go hunt down some bandits. Let's do it. Okay, they're right up north in the forest here. So we're going to leave. And we're going to go catch up to them. Come here, buddy. Oh, look, there's an army. 53 men. Hey, where are you running to? Yeah, you're not getting anywhere. So let's, let's see, you encountered the raider party. Let's attack. Men, all right, so you can tell your men to charge by opening the movement orders with F1 and choosing charge with F3. I guess they just want me to charge. All right, men. And then hit F3. Charge! First battle of Bannerlord campaign. It's mostly a bunch of peasants. All right, that was awesome. My guy was all like, ah. <laughs> Bandit scum, get a real job. Get a real honest job, all right? <laughs> Die, you pig. Ah. Here we go. All right, they're almost dead. Guys, watch out, all right? All right, did we kill them all? You have won the battle. Guys, we won our first battle. Now, obviously, it's the tutorial battle, and you're supposed to win it, but heck yeah, that was awesome. So here's the results screen. Uh, we earned some renown. Uh, we gained morale. Um, Sweet, I killed one guy. My brother killed a guy. <laughs> we should probably lay, lay, lay low for a while. That's cool. All right, rescuing and taking prisoners. After a hard fought battle, uh, you may have the choice to take some prisoners or recruit those that have uh, freed, that you have freed from your enemy. Uh, both options are done by transferring the troops to your party. So we can go ahead. Can we? Yeah, awesome week. <laughs> Dude, look at this derpy looking prisoner. Like, oh my God. All right. So it looks like that we got one prisoner. Cool. Um, we also got some equipment. Uh, so let's just see. Let's just go ahead and take it all. And let's see if this is better. Let's see. No, it's, it's not better. That's not better. Uh, we'll go ahead and, and add these. Let's see, how do I... Oh, there we go. Cool. Cool. We got some guards there. Uh, our current boots are better. Um, so, we'll just keep that for now. Oh, yeah. Civilian outfit? Whoa, you can have two different outfits? That's cool. That's really cool. Um, and then we go to my brother. Hey, dude, I got something for you. I got these little things. Here you go, bro. Here you go. Um, what about, is any of this good? Let's see, he's got a mace. We could give him the sword too. I'll, I'll just hang on to it. Uh, everything else it looks like. Yeah, everything else is, he, what he's wearing now is better. So we'll be done with that. And I assume we just, I mean, we're looking for, I mean, I didn't see any, like I know they wanted us to find a doctor or something, but I didn't see anything. So let me... Let me uh, figure out, let's see, quest. Look around the village to find the party that captured the traveler whom the headsman told you about. Oh, okay, so there's multiple parties. Okay, cool, we got a couple, we got a couple battles we're gonna, oh, they're grouping up. Look at that, grouping up, 12 versus eight. Let's do it, we can still win. All right, you know what to do, men. Charge! Yes! Man, they're fast. Why do I feel so slow? <laughs> Why do I feel so slow? Oh my god, look at that charge. Raider scum! Hey, hey, ow! 
Help! <laughs> There's a lot of enemies. Hey, I gained a level! Uh-oh. We might lose a couple men here. We got we gotta try to bring down as much as possible. Try to save my army. Uh-oh. Are we gonna lose this? Hey. Yeah. Eat a spear. Spear to the face. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> uh oh That face just said it all. That face said it all. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's not good. It's up to one horseman. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh, You have lost the battle You suck It's like the game's just like Uninstall Like, Alright well We <sighs> Yeah That's a defeat Defeated You were defeated by raiders But your brother saved you It doesn't look like you're going anywhere though So you should attack once again uh, Once you're ready You must have at least four members of the party uh, if you don't, go back to the village and recruit some more troops. Okay, so that's like their way of just being like, hey, you know, you messed up, you know, in the tutorial, it, it's fine. It, it doesn't help with gold whatsoever, but we're gonna, we're gonna head back up there. Let's go ahead and leave the town. All right, see, so they, they're split up. We gotta hit them when they're split up. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's try this again and not lose our men. So, F1... F3. <gasps> Revenge, boys. Thank goodness for this tutorial. It put us behind with money, but we'll come back. Get out of here, scum. Whoa, he's throwing rocks. Who throws a rock? Yeah, no. So if you hit like back, like the button that walk, well, S, if you hit S, if you like double tap it, it's erupt, er, oh my God, excuse me, abruptly stops your horse. Sorry, I, I'm working off three hours of sleep. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be mispronouncing a lot of words today. But yeah, there we go. There's a nice little victory there. We're doing good. We're doing good. My horse took some damage, but uh, we got some nice kills. And we're going to go ahead. And I did level up. Oh, we got more prisoners. Oh, my God. These derpy looking prisoners. So we're going to go ahead and take them. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. All right. We're going to go ahead and take all this. Let's check if any of this armor is better than what we have. Um, no, it looks like we can go ahead and equip this and just have an extra weapon on our side. Not a bad idea. So we'll do, we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll go for the final party over here. Oh, look, there's a caravan. Caravan of 40 people. All right. Heck yeah. Oh, oh it's becoming nighttime. Look at that. Oh, we might have a little bit of a night battle here, boys. Oh, yeah, it's getting dark. And charge. Attack! Charge! All right. Dude, watch out. Okay, this is little chaotic we're in the trees here oh gotta make sure we miss these trees I love this music too oh take it eat my spear alright you gotta be careful like Cav, in my opinion, doesn't feel as strong, like, compared to Warband. Like, in Warband, you were able to just kind of, like, run through. Not, I don't know. Not really run through, but I don't know. Maybe I'm stupid. Oh, we lost someone. Hey, we don't appreciate you raiding this village. Dang it, <laughs> this guy, 
This guy's like, what a noob. <laughs> there we go. Victory. All right, we'll take it. Now, we did we did level up. And, oh, my God, we have so many prisoners. This is perfect. We can have up to 13 prisoners. That's pretty good for early, early game. Uh, we got more equipment as well. Um, I like how certain items are kind of stacking here. Uh, but, again, everything that I currently have is better. So we're going to be done with that. Notification. Uh, you rescue sev sev several pr prisoners in the, that, that the raiders have been dragging along. They, they look parched and exhausted. You give them a bit of water and bread. And after a short while, one staggers to his feet and comes to you. Oh, a little cutscene here. Hello. Hey, look who it is. It's the, uh, the doctor. I don't know who you are, but I'm in your debt. These uh, brigands would have marched us to our deaths. Uh, my name is Tactios. I am doctor by trade. I was on, well, a bit of a quest, but now I'm thinking I'm not really made for this kind of thing. I was with a caravan and they just came out of the brush, the bu the, br <laughs> the brush. Uh, we were surrounded and outnumbered, so we gave up. I figured they'd keep, our, keep us alive I, uh, if just for the ransom, but then they started fl flogging us along at top speed without any water and it's just about ready to drop. Uh, I could feel the signs of heat stroke creeping in and I told them, but they just flogged me more. If your group hadn't come along, maybe, okay. So we're looking for two children captured by the raiders. Can you tell us anything? I'm afraid I haven't seen any children, but after our caravan was attacked, the chief of the raiders, the one they called Radagos, took and uh, took and rode off with more valuable belongings including a chest that i had Ooh, we gotta get that chest he seemed to be more uh he seemed to be controlling more than one band riding around this area if his lot has your kin uh, then i think it'd be the one to, he would be the one to know and since i have nothing of value left to repay your help i'll tell you this if you do catch up with and defeat that Ruffian, um, you may be able to recover my chest. It contains a valuable ornament, which I was told could be a value, great value. Awesome. We could sell it, make some money. I was trying to figure out more about it, but as I say, I had all my uh, urge for traveling flogged out of me. Right now, I don't think there's a venture more than 20 paces from a well as long as I live. <laughs> all right, we'll keep that in mind. It doesn't look like much, and I suspect this will... This lot would give it away for a few coins, but I got it from a mercenary whom I tre treated once and swore it was related to Netre Netre's folly. I don't know what that means except I can't even pronounce it. It was, of course, the emperor who died in battle some years back. May Ooh, a little history there. A little history of the world. Maybe you can find out if it's true value. Find its value. Okay, cool. Thanks for saving me again. I hope we're... Sorry for the fourth grade reading skill, guys. I swear, like, if I am sleep deprived, I slur and everything, but... Oh, here's the hideout. Now, should we go for the hideout? Uh, find its... Okay, we... Well, we, we already found it, and here's our upgrading. Let's see. Wow, okay. This is a lot different from from warband um what do we need to improve on uh learning limit extra health okay and an extra like hit point increased by three required skill level 25 um i don't do i like can i only pick one? Oh yeah i think i can only let's go with the extra Let's see, one-handed and damaging. Mm, let's go with the hit points because I feel like I'm going to be taking a lot of hits. <laughs> I'm going to be taking a lot of hits. And then let's increase our one-handed. There we go. We have another point. Let's increase, let's increase medicine a little bit. And then leadership. Now, our leadership's already pretty high. Um, mm, let's see, smithing. Ooh, smithing. Very cool. Let's increase trade. You can never be good enough with trade. All right. I think that's everything. So we're good here. We're going to be done. All right. So we got our seven. I don't know if I should go back to town and get more recruits. But I think we're going to be able to take on this hideout. Hopefully. But yeah, here's the hideout. Oh, look. 
Are they gonna come help us? There's an army of 15. You arrived at the hideout. Uh, I, hey, let's go for it. Let's attack. Let's do this. Okay. All right. Listen up, guys. Hideout missions have be, uh, begin with the enemy unaware of your approach. Order your troops to follow you with F1, F2. All right, shortcuts and try to uh, short. Let's say F2 shortcuts and try. Okay, cool. So let's do F1, F2. Follow me, infantry. Here we go. Oh, there's an enemy. Or he already spotted us. Dang it. Let's go, men. Yeah, these guys aren't so tough now. Ow! All right. Let's see, is there anything in here? Can we loot? All right, nothing's in here. Let's move. There's another little encampment. Let's go, guys. I'm going to take my spear out, create some distance. Yeah, get them, boys. Get them. All right. Let's keep moving. All right. I'm really low on health. I might just uh, take it easy here. Let my uh, let my teammates go at it. Or my, my, my banner... Yeah, go after him, boys. <laughs> there we go. I don't want to risk dying here. It's too important. And I don't know if the game's going to give me another mulligan like they did in the last battle. All right, let's go. The hideout. I like the hideout camps. They look really cool. Much better than Warband, of course. Hey. Come here. Come here. Where are you going? Psst. Get them, boys. Beautiful. Keep moving. All right. It's if you look, there's like a balance of power up ahead, which is cool. This guy's like peeing over here in the river. Whoa, he's throwing stuff. Don't throw stuff. Let's see. Is there? Can I pick up this shield? Oh, there we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, boss level. Oh, this is cool. So, who's this that comes through my place of business killing my employees? We heard you took uh, our little brother and sister. Good heaven, I need a better description than that. My men have harvested dozens of little brats in this region. Quite good hunting grounds. Oh my goodness. Already sent most of them south to be slave market. Oh no. A duel? My health is so low. <laughs> my health is so low, I just can't duel them. Attack! There we go. Okay, good job, guys. Good job. Nice. Hell yeah, boys. Hell yeah. You did all the work for me. <laughs> no quota. All right. You won the battle press tab. You results. Good job, my little war band. My little army of, of troops. Ooh. Well, I recognize defeat when I see it. If I'm going to be your captive, let me introduce myself. I am Radagos. You haven't cut my throat yet, which is a wise move. I'm sure I can find a way to be worth more t to you alive than dead. You better help us get our brother and sister back, or you'll be swinging from a tree. Ooh, those are fighting words. If you need help, um, oh, well, need my help, all right. If you want to get them back alive, that is. See, my boys have some pretty specific instructions about what to do if, they, if there's a rescue attempt. Shall we get on the road? Remember, if I drop dead of ex exhaustion or drown in some river, that's it for your little deers. Uh, don't worry, dude. I'm not going to kill them, all right? Or I'm not going to kill you. That's what I meant to say. Okay, so we have seven prisoners. Uh, you've come across a chest with an odd piece of bronze in it. It's so battered and corroded that it could have been anything from a cup to a crown. Jeez. This must be this must be the chest. Uh, yeah, the doctor mentioned. Okay, cool. I was hoping to see. Oh, what's this? 
What's this little bar? I guess that shows their favor towards you. That's cool. I was hoping to find more treasure here, but I think business was going too well for Radagos and his gang. Yeah. I found this strange looking metal piece, though. It doesn't look of value. All right, then. Let's get... Yeah. Uh, I have a better idea. Uh, we would have a better chance if we split up for now. I'll take Radagos and go find the slave slaver market and look for a way to get to the, free the children. However, you must be careful not to endanger their lives. It could be better to just buy them. We need to have a f our purse full for that though. Ooh, okay. So we might have to generate some income here. I need to take these men with us. Uh, ragged, ragged, Radagos is a slippery one. I don't want him to get away. All right, that's fine. Take the men. Indeed. Okay. So, be worth a fortune to the right person. Uh, if you manage not to get killed, he's telling the truth. You must be careful. Whenever revealed that you have it, try to understand its value. Oh, okay. I got to be careful about the, the little bronze thing I have because people might find interest in it. Other people importance. Make sure you present yourself as someone as a distant but distingu distinguished family. It's family name? Use, um, you can use your family name, but if you like, or make up a new one, you have a better chance of attaining the audience with nobles. It's easier for, okay, uh, family name. Uh, I don't know, man. What do we need a good, good family name? All right, I went with Singer. I know it's a, kind of a weird family name, but it's kind of like Apollo's the god of, of music. So I just went with Apollo Singer. So that's the family name. I know it's weird. Oh, we get to make our banner. Okay. Um, so we need something that screams Knights of Apollo. And right away I'm seeing these birds and that's, yeah, that's something we're going to go with for sure. I'm just going to quickly scroll through the, wow, there's a lot. And I love how you can customize them. That's awesome. So let's, so oh, let's see. I got, got, a, got a couple animals over here. I like I like that symbol. I think I'm gonna go with that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We can make a huge. Ba I like a big, big banner, and that doesn't. It's saying it's like. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Boom. Knights of Apollo, right there. Look how glorious that looks. That looks so glorious. Get on the road now. Uh, once I locate the little ones, I'll come find you. Awesome. Heck yeah, guys. Tutorial's over. You're now free to explore Caloradia. Cool. So we're going to get... Oh, look at that. Look at that banner. All right. So we're going to go back to town, sell these prisoners, and I think we're going to call it an episode. So we basically just played the tutorial, guys. Uh, we got a little bit better of an understanding. We got active quests here. Rebuild your clan. So we need to increase our funds by 1,000. Grow your party to 20 men, uh, reach clan tier 1, and hire a companion. And then we also have to, as you explore Cal Calradia, you can learn more about the artifact. And it's important by asking any lord or lady of the empire's recent history. Oh, that's fun. That's a fun quest. Alright, so let's get over here. Um, take hostile action. I don't know who to go to. Okay, so we're going to leave this town. I assume we got to go to a big city. So we're going to go to this big city right here. I, oh, you know what? I think the empire's broken up in different... Whoa. Here's the world. Yeah, we've got... Yeah, we got all... There's like three different empire. There's the... You got the east, west, and north. Very cool. There's me. There's me. All right, so let's go to this town. This is going to be our first time going into a big town. So let's just... Um, Let's get over there as quickly as possible. We can kind of fast forward here a little bit. Okay. So, let's... I kind of just want to walk around the town center and see what this castle looks like really quick because this is the bi first big moment of walking into a big town. I want to record everything big moment-wise. Oh my god. Look at this town. Look at this town. Dude, I'm going to have so much fun playing this. Hey, guard. Hey, what's up? How's it going, guys? Oh, my God. Look at this. This is so cool. Uh, honestly, you know, this kind of reminds me more of, like, um, late period Rome. Like, Western Rome rather than, than Eastern Rome. 
um, it it just kind of gives me that vibe. It doesn't really give me the the Eastern Rome. It gives me the uh, the Western Rome. But yeah, look at this town. Honestly, it's this is so cool. I cannot wait to have a big siege battle in one of these cities. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. Let's see, how do I how do I put my sword away? I don't. I kind of don't want to be walking around with the sword out. But look at the townspeople. Oh my God, this is cool. Okay, cool. Let's. Let's see if I have to like go to a tavern to sell these prisoners. Yeah, let's go to the tavern. Tavern district. Oh yeah, these are my kind of people. Hey! Townsman. Looks like you can kind of just talk to anyone. So I heard from my cousin that he took a bunch of dates over to Zin... I don't know how to pronounce it. Made a proud of 15. Well, my apologies sir, may I help you with something? Huh. <laughs> they give you little hints? Playing some music, musician? Oh, a tavern maid. Hello, fair lady. Mercenary scout. Ransom broker. Perfect. There we go. Okay, um, I just realized I don't have any prisoners. <laughs> I don't have any prisoners. Okay, well, still nonetheless, we got to see this beautiful tavern. We got to see the city. It was a lot of fun, and this is where we're going to conclude this episode. I'm going to go ahead and buy me a drink. Maybe talk to this maiden and see how far I can go with her. But uh, that's where we're going to conclude this episode. And we will be back in Calradia. Building an army. Ready to conquer some castles. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, I got the URL link, URL link for 22% discount. Just use that link. Use the Lord5. Um, use the code Lord5. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, yeah, and I'm streaming later today at 1 p.m., so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time on the battlefield.